Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. It's all about putting some respect on Michael Jordan, man. Putting some respect on the 80s and the 90s. Stopping the lies, stopping the narratives, setting the record straight. You guys know the deal. In this video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about Michael Jordan and how Michael Jordan didn't need to dribble the ball all over the place to get his shots off, to be effective, to score at a high level. Michael Jordan didn't need all that dribbling all over the place, all these nonsensical quote-unquote skills that we hear people talk about for this era. We're going to talk about this video. And I want to thank you guys, man. Everyone across the world, everyone across the state has been supporting my channel, guys. I am truly humble, for real, man. Everyone out there, everyone has joined the membership for real, it's truly humbling, guys. It means a lot. You guys subscribing, commenting, liking the videos. Much respect, guys. I am truly humbled by all the interaction, man, for real. It means a lot. We must continue to stand up. Set the record straight, guys. I tell you, it's very important that we do this. We can't allow them to rewrite the history. We can't allow this. So thanks to everyone out there, man. I can't do this without you guys. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So yes, guys, like I told you, man, Michael Jordan, man, the skills. When we talk about skills, right, oftentimes you hear a lot of people now these days talk about skills, man, the quote-unquote skills of today's players. And oftentimes when I hear people try to compare Michael Jordan to some of these today players, they often try to shortchange Michael Jordan's quote-unquote skills. I've heard people say that Kyrie Irving is more skilled than Michael Jordan. These are the nonsensical things. James Harden's got more skills than Michael Jordan. These are things that I've heard, guys. But when we think about these quote-unquote skills, oftentimes, what are they talking about? They're often alluding to what? Dribbling. These guys' ability to move these, these fancy moves. You hear the term footwork used a lot. These guys can dribble. The footwork of a Kyrie Irving. The footwork of a Kobe Bryant. Right? However, people, once again, are acting as if Michael Jordan did not have excellent footwork. Michael Jordan had excellent footwork because Michael Jordan had excellent fundamentals. Some of these players I just mentioned, like a Kyrie Irving, a James Harden, for example, these guys don't necessarily have the fundamentals of a Michael Jordan. They don't have the overall game of a Michael Jordan. When we think about scoring the basketball, whose overall game is more impressive to you? Michael Jordan or a Kyrie Irving or James Harden, right? When they tell you, oh, Kyrie Irving's dribbling ability is all-time great, which it is. However, does that mean that Kyrie Irving is more skilled than Michael Jordan? Does that mean that anyone in this era, excuse me, <clears throat> anyone in this era that can quote-unquote dribble the basketball, does that make them more skilled? No, it doesn't. Because I've told you there's a difference between dribbling and ball handling. They're not the same. They're similar, but not the same. When we think about dribbling, this is what you see on the N1 mixtapes and what you've seen some of these guys do, a Kyrie Irving, right? Uh, these guys will dribble the ball at James Harbin. It's dribbling the basketball. However, when we think about ball handling, it's your ability to handle the basketball, right? Which goes to your turnover frequency or lack of turnovers, right? Your ability to hang on to the basketball, to make plays with the ball in your hands. To me, Michael Jordan is a much superior ball handler, handler of the ball, then James Harden, a Kyrie Irving, some of these other players that they would tell you are more skilled and have better footwork. Not buying it. I'm just not buying it, guys. Once again, this is no knock on a Kyrie Irving or a Kobe Bryant as far as their skills and their footwork is concerned. They have great skills and great footwork. But when people try to tell you that they're better than Michael Jordan, that's where you lose me. Because when we think about Michael Jordan, I tell you guys that Michael Jordan didn't need all this fancy dribbling to be effective right, and be an effective score at a high level. The evidence is there. If you guys watch Michael Jordan, see, a lot of people might believe that Michael Jordan scored his points by, you know, just doing all kinds of crazy things, right? As far as pounding the ball into the, into the floor, holding onto the ball, being a ball hog. That's never been Michael Jordan. That's why when people say these things, they call Michael Jordan a shot chucker or a ball hog. They've never watched Michael Jordan play. Never. There was never a time where Michael Jordan was considered a ball hog or a shot chucker. I've told you guys, early in Michael Jordan's career, his first three, four seasons, he had to do what he had to do. He had to take 20, 25 shots a game because there was literally no one on the team that could score, that could go and get their basket consistently at a high level. No one could do this. So oftentimes, the responsibility always fell on Michael Jordan to score. 
So he was put in positions to shoot a lot. But it wasn't because he was just chugging up shots. He scored in the flow of the offense. The problem was the offense was him. He was the offense. There was no one else. But when we think about dribbling the ball all over the court and being effective, and we think about some of these other players I just mentioned, like Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving could be in one spot for five, six, seven, eight seconds and dribble in that same spot back and forth, side to side, this way and that way, right? Faking here, faking there, through the legs here, behind the back there for five, six, seven, eight seconds, literally in the same spot and go nowhere. Go nowhere. Michael Jordan could do way less dribbling, way less moving and score from the same place on the court. Michael Jordan could get you in a triple threat position, right? And really score from the triple threat position without even putting the ball on the floor. He can get you on skates because of Michael Jordan's athleticism, his cat-like quickness, right? But when we think about Michael Jordan scoring the ball, it was always a very precise thing with Michael Jordan. It's one dribble here in a pull-up. It's two dribbles to the rim, right? There's none of this craziness, all this over-dribbling. So what do you hear now? People try to tear down Michael Jordan by saying that he had no dribble moves. He had no offensive moves. It's laughable, guys, laughable. Michael Jordan's creativity on the offensive end is unmatched. Unmatched. Unmatched by anyone in history. Unmatched, guys. The creativity of Michael Jordan. This is not any wasted movements. Michael Jordan gets to where he needs to go, and when he goes up for the shot, that's when the creativity takes over. If two guys jump up, then Michael Jordan's able to come and go around the arms. If a guy comes this way or a guy slides in for the charge, Michael Jordan could twist his body and finish around him and avoid the contact. That's where Michael Jordan's creativity takes over. It wasn't Michael Jordan trying to come with different ways to dribble in the same spot for seven seconds and do all this wasted movement. And I've told you why is that. Once Michael, one, Michael Jordan was a very precise, like I said, this goes to Michael Jordan's skills, the precision of him, able to score anyone on the basketball court, man, in two dribbles or less. This is Michael Jordan, and right to the rim or right up for a jump shot, whatever the case may be, right? This is Michael Jordan, guys. These are things that we must keep in mind when we think about Michael Jordan and we think about guys dribbling all over the court. And I'm telling you, Michael Jordan didn't do that. Why? Wasting energy. Michael Jordan couldn't waste energy like a Kyrie Irving or some of these other guys of this era, right? They can waste all that time. Luka Doncic dribbling all over the court to Trey Young, right? Why is this? Because they're not giving any effort on the defensive end, nor do they have to give effort on the defensive end. Whereas back in Michael Jordan's era, to be a respected great player, to be respected as one of the great players in the game, you had to give effort on both ends. You had to be there on both ends, right? That's what you need to do. In this era, it's not required, it's not needed. So these guys can spend all their energy dribbling around, doing all these fancy moves, these dribbling moves, and literally go nowhere because they have to worry about defense. They ain't got to worry about these things, right? So, like I told you guys, this goes to the skills of Michael Jordan. Who has more skill? Kyrie Irving, who needs 20, 30 dribbles to get a shot off, weighs 7, 8, 9, 10 seconds on a shot clock, or Michael Jordan? who can get anywhere on the court he needs to and could be effective the highest of levels in one or two dribbles. Or without dribbling, Michael Jordan could come off of screens. He could go backdoor cuts, alley-oops, right? Things of this nature. He can set screens and come off a screen. He don't need the ball in his hands. A lot of these guys need the ball in their hands to be effective. So where's your skills, right? Where's your skills without the ball, right? It's not the same for these guys. A lot of these guys are great with the ball in their hands. Take the ball away from them. A completely different player now. Michael Jordan is the same player. He's effective anywhere with or without the basketball. It don't matter. This is Michael Jordan. This is why he's the most skilled player in the history of the game. There's no one who was as complete on the offensive end and on the defensive end and had all the intangibles, the mind, the leadership, the heart, the grit, the durability, the toughness of a Michael Jordan. No one's had this. So when you hear them say this era's more skilled, they can never tell you anything but what? Dribbling and the fact that these guys shoot three-pointers more than they did in past eras. Those are not skills, guys. Michael Jordan having the ability to score with one or two dribbles or without a dribble to be able to play with or without the basketball. Those are true skills. Those are true skills. Michael Jordan's defensive skills, those are skills. Michael Jordan's leadership skills are skills. We think about other players of Michael Jordan's era, the post-up games that these guys had. Right? The handle had to be tighter because the officiating was tighter. So once again, all the dribbling skills you see in this era, it might look nice for a little bit, 
But once again, they're carrying the ball a lot of times. Their hand is underneath the ball, right? A lot of times they're taking an extra step when they're driving to the paint. They're traveling. These things aren't called, but they'll tell us that they're more skilled. Should the officiating be more tighter if they're more skilled? But instead it's looser, but they tell us they're more skilled. So remember, guys, Michael Jordan never had to waste dribbles, never had to waste energy and dribble all over the place to be effective on the offensive end. The greatest score in NBA season history, in NBA history, guys, regular season or the postseason, NBA finals. It didn't matter. Michael Jordan was effective with or without the basketball, without over dribbling, without holding on to the ball, right? Without wasting shot clock, taking bad shots, things of that nature. This is the skill grades of Michael Jordan. That's footwork. When you can get to where you need to get to with as little dribbles as possible, as little movement as possible. Those are skills, guys. Those are skills. Remember, that's Michael Jordan, guys. You know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.